All right, guys, this is gonna be the final video in a kind of informal series of videos on the Adamus, Mini Adamus, and basically all of these Generation 2 um, Benchmade Adamus I, I guess you could say. Um, so today I'm gonna to talk about the lock failure yet again. So unfortunately, my um, what is this? Mini Adamus has quite a bit of lock rock, as you guys can probably hear. Hopefully, and you guys can probably even see it. It's pretty bad. And that's also partly because I have abused the heck out of this thing, batoned it a lot, and ultimately tried to figure out why in the world the lockup on mine was not good, or at least why it would fail. Now, I'm not sure there's any truthful redemption for my particular Adamus. And once again, everything is pure speculation. And I still do actually like to carry this knife. I've done videos talking about like, why do I love this knife? It's actually very pocket friendly and it does look very cool. And I love the CPM crew wear and on and on and on, right? I've also put a pretty cool edge on it from my Wicked Edge. This thing is stupid sharp, but I think I might have actually found the real root of the problem. And I have to thank a, at least a viewer, I don't know if he's a subscriber, but I think one of the issues, or at least if you are having lockup issues like I am, which is probably likely because I think all of these Adamuses had this issue, but it's kind of hard to explain, but looking on this lock interface, so basically the access lock interfaces with this top portion, this kind of shiny portion you guys can see there. Um, hopefully it's in focus, not really sure, but um, that shiny portion is a flat portion that obviously engages with the lock to well, lock up the knife, right? So in a perfect world, that's how it would work. However, um, the coating, when the coating is applied to the blade, there is like some leftover, I don't know if it's like a base coating or something, but it kind of has this orangish look to it. And I'm not sure if I can like insert that in here or not. In fact, actually, I haven't done anything with my original um, auto Adamus. So you guys can hopefully see there's this kind of line, like I said, it's this kind of sub color. So there's the, you know, s this uh, gun metal gray here, and then there's this like transition color, and then there's the shiny part, right? So um, that part is kind of either a leftover coating or it's something to do with the coating as a whole. I don't know if it happens when they bake the coating in, because especially on the um, Cerakotes like that one has, they bake this coating onto the blade. So I'm not sure if it has to do like what part of the process this comes into, but uh, I was told that a fix, a potential fix for the lockup for, for this access system or for this access lock is to take some sandpaper and knock that down. Now I did that and in my opinion, it probably would have solved the issue. Now for me, there's no necessary knowing whether or not that's gonna fix the issue because for mine, like I said, there's a pretty significant amount of lock rock anyways. So what that basically means is that mine is kind of, I don't wanna say shot, but it's obviously more prone to failure than a stock um, Adamus. So I have not tested this since doing that modification just because I'm fairly certain that this particular um, mini Adamus is probably gonna fail anyways due to that already, you know, like uh, built in lock rock. So it's probably already toast to an extent. Like obviously it's reasonably safe enough. This knife isn't just gonna like collapse in on my fingers. You know, there's still a good amount of tension here, but uh, obviously it's not like it was brand new, right? So anyways, I would recommend if you have a mini Adamus, full-sized Adamus, and you're experiencing similar issues with the lockup and you don't yet have lock rock, um, I would say give this a shot, at least see, you know, you do wanna be cautious not to take away too much material because that is the lock interface and you could induce more lock rock um, by reducing too, or, yeah, reducing too much material. But if you just take some, you know, like, um, lower or like mid grit uh, sandpaper and knock off that kind of coating. You'll really see what I mean um, w when you take sandpaper to it. You can remove quite a bit of that coating and then you're down to bare steel. So that might truthfully be the answer to the problem or the fix 
for me, the world may never know because like I said, mine's already kind of damaged. So I don't think mine's really, you know, mine's kind of past the point of no return, I guess you could say. Um, however, I did want to put this video out there to kind of just say like, this could help you prevent you from destroying your Adamus like mine has been. Now for mine, you know, it's a user, it's an abuser. So I'm not really that scared or sad. I like my mini Adamus, but you know, I know what it is and I know that it is, you know, um, kind of, kind of destroyed so still has some life into it but it's not too bad anyways for those people that do like the adamas the mini adamas and the second gen um adamas line which i personally really do like the cpm crew wear is awesome this avocado colorway with the green and tan you know looks great um overall there's so much about the mini adamas that i really do want to love but that lockup is just so embarrassing because honestly you know like uh having owned a gen one adamus is was not a problem at all it was such a nice knife so i was really hopeful that the generation two slash the mini adamus would live up to that kind of family lineage or heritage but it did not so anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed the video as always god bless and I'm